Hey there guys, gals, and non-binary pals. Happy spooky season. And for today's spooky book, we are doing The Gathering Dark, which uh, was actually recommended to me based on my prior purchases on Amazon. Um, it's a horror folk anthology, or an anthology of folk horror, I should say. It's not actual folk stories or folk legends or urban legends or myths or anything. It's told in kind of a campfire kind of style the stories are. They're like stories you would hear at summer camp. So let's get into it. Uh, the book itself is edited by Tori Bov Bovolino, uh, who also wrote one of the stories, Love by All, Save One. Uh, this book came out this year. It's got 10 horror stories, uh, each from a different author. Um, and we'll go into them one by one. So the first one is Stay by Erica Waters. This one is has stuck with me more so than the other ones have like this is the one that i keep thinking about like in those quiet moments where i like think about what i've been reading this one has really stuck with me um it's you've got a cemetery an unreliable narrator and un and vengeful slash lonely spirits uh it's a great opener it sets the tone for the book in the best possible way chef's kiss great book or great story i should say uh then we have the tallest poppy which was creepy. Like, you've got haunted dolls and a haunted house, and the ending, the ending I did not see coming. Like, it's short, it's sweet. Well, it's not sweet, it's short and creepy, which is great for folk horror. Like, it makes a great campfire story, I think. Um, by Chloe Gong. Phenomenal, I want to read more stuff by her. Then we have Love by All, Save One, by Tori B Bovolino. Uh, it's a ghost story with a powerful ending. It's almost a coming-of-age story at the same time. To, to, paraphrase, to paraphrase one of my favorite authors, author Stephen King, um, a novel is a relationship, a short story is a kiss with a stranger in the dark. This one is that perfect, just, just enough to make you wish there was more without making you feel cheated into thinking there wasn't enough. So, great. Um, one Lane Bridge by Hannah Witten. This one is a story of teen rage and fury. Um, it's a little hokey. It's a little hokey. It leaves you wanting more though, in a good way. Like you want there to be, you want there to be a follow-up to this one. And then we have Ghost on the Shore by Allison, Allison Saft. Uh, this is a lake demon, lady of the lake, demon lake, think um, ghostly hitchhiker meets lake drowning victim kind of a story. Really good also creepy kind of a weird ending like the ending's a little weird like i i had to read it through twice and i'm like oh, okay yeah i get it because it wasn't it wasn't clear enough the first time and i don't know if that was because i read it when i was feeling a little a little under the weather or what but still good and then we have petrified uh by olivia uh, Ch uh chadha uh, which is a cult story like a story about a cult uh, they call themselves the Children of the Aspen. Um, it's nature's retribution and vengeance for doing things against the cult members. Like, it's um, it's almost like, if you remember the movie Evil Dead with the trees, like the, the tree monster, make that the good guy. Or at least the protagonist. And it's, it's really good. It's creepy and it's weird and it's kind of a poison ivy but make it a cult kind of a deal. Like, it's real good. Uh, then we have Third Burn, which is wish witches, curses, and fire, and, like, subverting expectations, and coming-of-age teen, and finding found fam. Like, it's everything I want in a folk horror story. It, this one is by far my favorite of them. So good. So good. And then we have It Stays With You by Aiden Pol Polidoros which is a Bloody Mary meets childhood trauma retelling. And like, it's got very much like a, like almost like a stand by me in the last half of it kind of a vibe. Like it's also really good. Um, you've got uh, Truth or Dare by Alex Brown, which is a defined, is, is it a define the relationship metaphor or is it a ghost story? Like it could go either way it's kind of told in this stream of consciousness kind of musing telling my life story over a cigarette to a stranger in a pub kind of a feel to it like it's good it's real good and then the last one is the burning one by shakira toussaint 
um, which is kind of a slave allegory, slavery allegory, and a vampire story at the same time, but not also. Like, that one's hard to describe. That one, I feel like you need to read it to experience it. Like, it's it's good. It's very visceral. Visceral is the best word I can think of to describe that story. But it's not... The story isn't what I was expecting it to be. Like, it isn't what I was expecting it to be. It isn't... It doesn't end the way I thought it would end. It didn't progress the way I thought it would end. It doesn't introduce characters the way I thought it would. Like, it's very, very good. But just a little... A little off. Like, everything is just a little off kilter in in a very good way. So, should you read this? I know that's not the series we're working on. We're working on 13 spooky books of October, but should you read this one? Yes, yes, a thousand times yes. So, have you read The Gathering Dark? Do you like horror anthologies or horror short stories? Let me know in the comments down below and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!